Yeah. So what's up, guys? We are here with uh, Commodore, Nav, and Dev from In The Lab. Yes, sir. We're so, how are you guys feeling today? I'm, I'm excited, man. Like, look how beautiful this all came together. This is, this is going to be dope. Is In The Lab Squad going to take it home for this one? There's a lot of talent. You know, no, it's some good players in here, but no, we're all just confident. Yeah. We love playing three on three. Yeah. <laughs> a little slight difference in the rules, but yeah. Yeah. we love playing three on three. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. In, any of these teams you're kind of uh, – a little bit worried about you're like oh i don't know but not not a single one no you got Come it on, Matt. competitors right. don't worry i was gonna say i was gonna say man locked in i love it yeah. i love it yeah. it's gonna be a fun time oh okay oh okay some guys flying under the radar yeah. i like that yeah. um would you guys i mean we normally kick these things off talking about hoops um probably couldn't think of a better time with these finals wrapped up man what are your thoughts on the uh on the warriors taking it home uh i'm super happy they won it uh I'm, I'm excited to see what all the excuses are going to be for why they won it. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course. You know, I'm a Warriors fan, so we had to deal with three years. So I've been on Twitter just talking trash for the last, like, four days or five days. And people think I'm going to stop anytime soon. There's no way. I got too much save content. Yeah. I saved those tweets. So. And, and, and I don't you, know if you guys follow him on Twitter, but he's, like, the ultimate trash talker. Yeah. He literally saves tweets for people. And then two years oh, later, good. he brings up your tweet to remind you that you made a mistake. Yeah, so, Petty well, King, I love like, it. All hey. the players, this is John, John Moran's been tweeting yeah. me, KD, KD, <laughs> really? KD uh, Reddick just tweeted me, you know, kind of going back and forth. But it's cool, though. Yeah. I, people, people, I understand. At the end of the day, yeah. it's just basketball. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We hey. got in an argument last year of how long I could do that with the Milwaukee Bucks. Right. And he told me that as soon as the next season started, I had to stop. But I said, it's all the way until the, champ the next champion until the comes in. Until well, I say until the next champion. Oh, I say you yeah. have like a whole so you year. Whole I think you had a whole year. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, listen, I came around on I was like, I guess that's true, man. Until there's another champion, you're the champion, right? Yeah, like, that is. So you get a full year. I'm going to get tired of him. You have to mute him. <laughs> I'm going to wait till the season starts. But this, this, won't, this is going to be a long time. <laughs> it's going to be a long time. The question I have is, can they go for five? Yeah. Can they go for the fifth one next year? You know? They're going to be better next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah so they sad. might be. They might be. Like the, like some, there's going to be some trades that go yeah. down. You guys yeah. can hear the rumors. Yeah. 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 There's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. What, and what was the deal with the, the Steph slander going into, like, he needs a finals MVP? To, I'm like, Steph is Steph. But like, and then he Steph, got it. Man. He stepped up. Yeah. And, well, and I was kind of getting pushed back on KD because now they won one without him. Yeah. I just think, like, at the end of the day, man, yeah. all these guys are good. Like, you know, KD's good. And he did his thing when he was the Warriors. So. But it's fine. Like, like I said, man, you, know, you can't stop these type of conversations. And I think it's good for the game. Yeah. Like, you know, we're always comparing. It's fun. We're still talking about yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Totally. Yeah. Um, I want to quickly touch on like all the awesome stuff that you guys are doing in, in the lab. I mean, like everyone I've talked to here has heard of the you know ten thousand hours, huge fan. Like, um, how do you guys feel? Obviously, being NBA fans, um, but what you guys are doing awesome because it's like it deals with creators and like fans, and these guys are super approachable. Like, you know, I was like, how is it seen? How have you seen the evolution of of in the lab kind of take forth from when you first got started to like where it is now? You want to get that? It's just, it's, it's been crazy. Like, it's yeah. been a lot, right? Like, we started with a kind of a series and the concept of In The Lab and then we've been able to build a global basketball brand around it, right? And like, yeah. now we're doing NFT events in New York and we're traveling outside of LA and collaborating with people like yourselves. Like, it's been fun. Like you said, like, Des, like, been a leader in that space, right? Sure. And like, connecting us to the creators and the basketball culture, like, he's been a driving force of what he does, right? Right. So it's been fun to, like, work with him and build a brand around, like, his likeness, essentially, right? Yeah. All of us. Yeah. yeah. I think all of us cool. I mean, uh, you know, you get, you always, as a basketball player, you want to play in the NBA. I mean, everybody, that's everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Number one, number one, yeah. But, you know, as you get older, you feel, you know, there's not a lot of people that make it. No. Yeah, as an elite, very elite special group of people. And at the end of the day, like, you know, you can find other things that can put you back in that type of light if that's what you want to do, right? right? And so, like, I don't feel like I've missed out on much, you no. know? And so, and, you know, when it comes to the whole in the lab and how everything's going, it's cool because I was just at the, uh, the draft media stuff. Uh, and, then, like, a lot of guys know who I am. Yeah. yeah. Some people know who I am before they know the six man or whatever NBA team. Right, right, that's right, true. right. That's it's true. not that I'm looking for the attention. It's just the impact that the brand has had. And you want to continue to do so, whether it be the gear, making people feel good, uh, why the gears they're rocking, or you know, the NFTs, or anything that they, they support us with. I think it would be really cool at the end of the day sure. to build this brand. Yeah. yeah, I love that, man. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, and what do you guys have next up? I remember 
first time I ever talked to you now, you were like, <laughs> yo, I love your mission because it sounds crazy, but like, we want to be like, we can, t we want to take on Nike, right? Like we could be one of the biggest global basketball brands out there. Like, um, so obviously we resonate with that. So like, what's next up for in the lab? Like, what do you guys, what's the, what's the grand master yeah. vision that you guys are working on? I think for? it's just like continued growth. It's like, it's more content, more events, like growing the apparel brand, scaling it. Right. You know, we've got a gym in LA where devs like really taking hold and like really growing that, getting some really dope players out there. That's cool. So I think it's just keep doing what we're doing, but like adding to the team, continue to scale and like the partnerships, like this right here yeah. is how we continue to get to that next level, like doing stuff that other brands in our space aren't doing. For right. sure. Yeah, absolutely. We were playing with uh, the basketball, like your basketballs are, are dope. Like, yeah, like it's like, well, like, that's a great basketball. So it's like, I think this idea of like taking this great band, right, uh, brand and putting it in all yeah. these different areas, like, Awesome. Thank you. And to yeah. flip it back to you guys, like you guys are, you guys just bought a big three team. Like yeah, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, are doing yeah. like, so I tell people like, there's a lot of entities and downs mm. that are scams and stuff. It's like, For sure. you guys had a mission and you've actually done stuff. You yeah. bought a professional sports team. Yeah, yeah. Like, how does that feel for you guys? I was just in Chicago for opening weekend. And yeah. like, it, you like, you don't know exactly what it kind of feels like right until you're kind of in that moment but it was like i've never watched the ball hogs like you know you normally yeah. watch big three and you're watching you know a particular player mm -hmm. or you're watching joe johnson get his right but it was like this weird moment of like i i want this team to win and like you're i was talking trash yeah. and like on the sideline it was like it's a really surreal experience but i think this idea of taking a really big community yeah. and like allowing folks to like earn their way to have an influence earning their way to have access people that are just like passionate about it and giving that exactly. just this experience is like a really cool spot. And the big three and Jeff and Ice Cube, their idea of what they're trying to do with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you love hoops, it was just, you know, Gary Payton's walking by, like Charles Oakley's talking trash, you know, Gilbert yeah. Arenas, Rick and Paul, you're just like, this, went, is, this is incredible, yeah. And I went to the draft and like, I was just kind of chilling and just hanging out. And it was like the ball hugs are on the clock. I couldn't help it. I was like, oh, shit, dude. Like, I was like, who'd we get? We FaceTime Barbosa, and he was like, what? I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I was like, this, I was like, this is, this is crazy. Was yeah, that? He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is so fun. <laughs> we saw that tweet, and we were like, he's not making it to the game. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, really well, so then he was like, we're like, all right, go. game seven, he's out, obviously, because the, the schedule clashes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But game six, if they can lock it in, there's a chance he'll play. Right. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, we, we need him. He's the captain. Last year, second leading scorer, number one assist guy in the big three. So like, we need him, right? Yeah. Um, and then that that uh, his, that story got posted of him on the floor. I'm like, we got to update his status to questionable. <laughs> yeah. He's day to day, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day to day. That's what I'm saying. Though. You guys own that team. You get to talk to the players. You're in on the yeah. meetings, the calls, the decisions. Like, That's you're wild. already doing that ownership piece, which is kudos yeah. to you guys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, and it's crazy. Like, you know, part of our core mission, right, is like, we always have typically thought of fans, especially NBA fans, that are, you know. You kind of think of it as like, is this this mob type, like one big mass of people. Right. But there's guys like Dev, right? There's guys like, um, you guys, developers and marketers and, and business owners, right? Yeah. That could add a lot of value to their franchise. Um, they're already like irrationally passionate about anyway, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, but if that ownership piece, once that unlocks, then it just, it, it elevates everything. Like people are like, oh, let's do this together. Like, yeah. let's create these teams. Like merch team spun up. Um, analytics team, but we, we, uh, we prepared a scouting report for Rick Barry. Oh, nice. We sent it over, he was like, this is crazy, dude. Like, really? you guys did this? And so he's using it in practice. He was like, he was like quoting it. He was like, killer threes shoot less than 27% from, from three. And they're, they're like <laughs> rattling all yeah. the stats. Yeah. Um, and like no other teams like taking it to this next yeah, level seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're trying, we're trying to push that's what it. That's it takes though, right? Yeah. Like yeah. to elevate the league and the teams, like yeah. stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, um, and that's all because the, like, all of us believe, believe that we can do it together, right? Yeah. Which is like that's that's a huge, and actually kind of reminds me like, in the in the lab, like I said, like the the audience that you guys have been able to build, right? They feel connected to what you guys are doing, right? Yeah. They feel kind of like a part of it, like Creator Classic, showing up at the gyms and things like that. Yeah. So like, obviously a lot of parallels for what, what both Absolutely. teams are doing. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's exciting, man. Like yeah, I said, like, for you guys. Too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's surreal to kind of just be in this environment and just really excited to watch incredible basketball. Watch all come together. Yeah, I don't man, think yeah. you guys have realized what you've done here, but it's the same <laughs> with us when we first started doing events. I think later you're going to realize what transpired once the games, the dunk contest happens, <laughs> yeah. once a clip goes viral on your court and your arena, basically. It's, it's going to yeah. change it. That's cool.
It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, nasty. Yeah. yeah. The artwork's amazing. Dude, what? And there's a bunch of like inside mm. jokes over there about like our Discord and stuff like that. So kind of the nerdy parts over there. Oh, so like getting things. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. See? And there's yeah. art all there. Like, and then everyone's gonna get like the, the people that this buy. This I don't like, know what brand this is, but it's funny. Like, it's like what's that? I just did this. Like, what was I doing? Oh man, I um, can't think. The uh, I get there's actually a few of our so it actually is kind of crazy because we were just gonna install just a normal port right and we were looking at the expenses and we were like damn that port's gonna cost a lot yeah so we're like hey let's let's part of a, a bunch of different artists let's show off their work um, yeah. get them paid a little bit you know like do something cool like this um, and then we're selling each of these grid pieces as as NFTs to kind of like recover some of the cost right and like yeah, absolutely do that but most importantly it's like the percentage of the sales going to the winning team, yeah. the dunk contest players, winner, exactly. the players. It's like all that came together and it just made a ton of sense. So like, hey, let's, let's do this. show off some good art. Um, you know, get these guys coming out here competing, get them paid, like, yeah. like we just we, we, it all came like, together. This could be a model to renovate a bunch of like outdoor courts in different cities. Yeah. Absolutely. It yeah. doesn't have yeah. to be sort of a, you know, tying it back to a thing, but like it could tie back to a community, right? And you could do all sorts of really cool stuff. We're sort of just excited to play with this idea yeah. and say like, what goes well, what doesn't go well, and how else could we play with it? Yeah. This it's is the perfect use case for an NFT. Like, you guys have executed this idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, like, you know, one of our big things is probably being like a digital community community and an online organization we want yeah. to get heavily involved in local community stuff like working down in New Orleans renovating courts some of them haven't been touched up since Hurricane Katrina back in 2005 right wow, yeah. so get partner with local artists donate go full pass through to the artists and the charity of their choice like it's stuff like that that you can do that I think to your point like a lot of crypto scam like the scams make the headlines unfortunately hey, that's the thing. but people are doing really cool shit that's what I'm saying man. you gotta like funnel through all that noise right to right. people like you so yeah. it's perfect right yeah. Yeah. It ruins it for like the builders. Yeah. You no, know? because yeah. it's tough. Because people are like, well, why would I come to this? But it's like, no, we're doing like dope it's stuff. Like, yeah. Technically, that's just like everything else. <laughs> it is, yeah. It is. <laughs> Every, everything new, right? There's, there's a cycle yeah, it's always, of excitement yeah. and disappointment. Mm. And like, yeah. just got to keep your head down and build. But, yeah. 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 I think yeah. NFTs hit so big during COVID. Like, yeah. it just yeah. became world, yeah. a worldwide phenomenon. Yeah. So people are like, what's this sketchy yeah. thing? But. It's going to be here to stay, and you guys are like one of the leaders in it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Well, appreciate you guys joining yeah. us, man. This was Anytime. so dope. I'm so excited to like not only not only for today, but continue working with you guys, man. Because yeah. yes, I remember when um, someone was like, "Nav from in the lab wants to talk." I was stoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was like, text I was like, like, "Yo!" I was like, "Bro, <laughs> these guys are legit. Appreciate Anything guys, we can man. do to work with them, I'm down." Yeah. Um, so yeah, man. Obviously, huge fans of what you guys are doing and, and have likewise. done. Um, and obviously pumped about the mission, man. So thanks for all and like, yes, sir. And I'll be low key pulling for in the lab, man. I can't show it, <laughs> but you know, I got, well, I got my money on you guys. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate the time, you guys. Man. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much. Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. Cool. cool. Thanks, that was guys. Dope, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Hell yeah. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Good luck. Digital uh, partners.